Welcome back to Kim's Creations. I am going to be doing something that I have never done before. I'm going to do a blob painting. So right now I'm just preparing the canvas. What I've done so far, and I guess I should tell you what this canvas is, uh, this is an oval 16 by 20 inch canvas that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. And I have resined the back. It has that kind of blue sparkle to it because I did add just a little bit of TLP, this little piggy and blue eyes to the resin, just to give it a bit of a different sheen to it. And now I've taped it as well with frog tape. I find frog tape is the best at sealing the edges of the canvases versus the blue tape. Um, so I've done that, and the reason I did that is because with the blob painting, you want the surface of your canvas to be absolutely flat without too much give. So having the resin on the back gives it that hard uh, surface. My canvas is level. Um, I've checked it out with my level. And I'm gonna flood the canvas and let it dry with this beautiful color that I made up and it is a combination of folk arts silver flash with, it's mostly silver flash with um, blue flash also by folk art. And it's created this silvery, greeny, bluey, purpley concoction that I have here. So once I mixed those paints together, I then mixed it with Floetrol to get all this paint that I am just going to put down on the canvas now. Now the metallics are going to give this kind of a, a stripey look to it as I um, as the metallics move across the canvas and that is okay with me. I think it'll add interest to the background um, and I'm sure you will see this as I move the paint around so I'm just doing a bit of spreading right now and I will come back to you when this is all done and when it is all dry and we move on to the next step. My next step involves creating a stencil. So I modeled a tree out of the stencil that I had that you can see at the top and drew it out on frisket paper and then I cut it out and I'm going to use that stencil on my canvas as you can see right there. Okay, I have peeled off the backing of my tree and put stuck the frisket paper down as best I could. Um, it's really hard just because of all the pieces that were in this to get it completely flat on here, but I think I've got it down in all the crucial areas, so I am ready to get to painting the tree onto the canvas. So let's do that. Okay, I have just painted the whole thing and now I'm going to take the stencil off and clean up any edges that may need to be cleaned up while it is still wet because it'll be easier then to do. All right, not too bad. Toss that in the trash. Gotta clean up that blob there. Just using baby wipes for this part. Okay, I am ready to start putting my blobs on my canvas. 
and I've mixed up my blobs. Kind of did some tests here, and there's some tests on the plastic off to the side that you can't see. But I did take my mix ratio and worked with that from the Massey Boys, which was 50% um, Mod Podge and 25% Liquitex Gloss Medium and then 25% paint. Here's a picture of the paints that I'll be using for the blobs and they will all be listed in the description below. I am using metallics in this mix, so I had to adjust the paint ratio up from that on quite a few of them. So you'll have to just kind of play with the consistencies. So I am kind of doing the rainbow colors here. So I'm gonna get started with this because I'm excited to see how, how this plays out. So I've mixed up the paints. They've been mixed for a while. And I'm just gonna randomly, I guess, put them around my canvas. We'll do the same thing again tomorrow. Okay, I'm back. These dry wonderfully. They're not completely dry. They're still a little mushy on the top, but I'm gonna go ahead and put layer two down.
wasn't sure if I was going to do a fourth and final round, but I've decided I'm going to do it. So here we go. finished it all. Everyone has four layers. And I'm happy with the way it looks, so I'm going to bring you down. Here's the final piece. I am so super excited with how this turned out. It is just super, super shiny. Of course, everything I used for the blobs, they were all metallics, so they are going to shine. And I did put a coat of uh, varnish over this so it does give the whole piece extra shine let me know what you think um, in the comment section below i'm super stoked and uh, can't wait to to do some more of these all right bye for now